I'm blooming love Lancashire me. I were born here, I were raised here, and I'll be buried here, next to me greyhounds and me whippets at the bottom of the garden. Councillors, ladies and gentlemen, may I on behalf of Wright and Local History Society welcome you to Lancashire Day here in Royton, which takes place across Lancashire on the 27th of November every year. Our fellow Lancastrians from Chatterton have celebrated Lancashire Day for many years. Also people from Fleetwood, Garstang, Grange over Sands, Southport, Marsh Mill, Carnforth, Clitheroe, Preston, Nelson, Ormskirk, Great Eccleston, Galgate, Lancaster, Littleborough, yes, and even Shaw all celebrate this day. <laughs> so why celebrate Lancashire Day? I will attempt to tell you. When our society was inaugurated in 2002, we had to have a constitution, a set of rules, and our main ethos is to promote and preserve the history and heritage of Royton, something I believe that with the hard work and commitment of our committee, we are achieving. And when over six years ago we decided to join the, Real Friend, the Friends of Real Lancashire and read its supporting literature, we decided we must support this organisation to the full. Fall's main thrust was the absence of Lancashire's true boundaries. This occurred when local government was reorganised in 1974. Councillors, ladies and gentlemen, it was in that year that Greater Manchester was created and Warrington placed in Cheshire and some of Cumberland and Westmoreland in an area called Cumbria. These are administrative areas only and bear a little resemblance to the true boundaries of real Lancashire. A couple of years ago, during the floods, the TV announcer told us that a village between the borders of Greater Manchester and Lancashire had been badly affected. Where the heck that was, I do not know. If you were to ask the question, why Lancashire Day? My answer would be, why not? Why not indeed? This is the day to celebrate being a Lancastrian and being proud of our traditions. Black puddings, Lancashire hot pot, Lancashire cheese, Eccles cakes, Charlie cakes, local rag puddings, oven bottom muffins, gradely ale, and last but not least, to wear a red rose with pride. With this in mind, I would like to invite you to listen to the proclamation to the Queen, the Duke of Lancaster, by our town crier, Reg Lord, after the response by Councillor Tony Larkin. Okay, thanks very much, Doug, for that. Uh, I will be brief, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Lancashire Day allows us the opportunity to declare we are proud Lancastrians. And as a Mancunian, I've always been a proud Lancastrian. As we know, Lancashire Day commemorates the day in 1295 when Lancaster sent, Lancaster sent its first uh, representative to the court of uh, Edward I for his parliament. Lancashire Day was first observed in 1996 with a loyal toast to the Queen, Duke of Lancaster, and is open to celebration from everywhere within the county, and indeed by Lancastrians anywhere in the world. I think it's very important to us here in Royton that we celebrate our heritage without clinging blindly to the past. Lancashire Day is now set in our calendar, along with St George's Day, as time to remember who we really are and we intend to continue in that tradition. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. of Lancaster, the citizens of the hundreds of Lonsdale, 
north and south of the town. Amount and Eth, Leyland, Blackburn, Salford and West Derby are forever entitled to style themselves Lancastrian. Throughout the County Palatine, from the Furnace Fells to the River Mersey, from the Irish Sea to the Pennines, this day shall ever mark the people's pleasure in that most excellent distinction. True Lancastrians, proud of the Red Rose and loyal to our sovereign Duke, God bless Lancashire and God save the Queen, Duke of Lancaster. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip!